A month after they lost two children in a buggy crash in Wexford County, an Amish couple struggles with a home that's a little less crowded, a little quieter. But they are also thankful. They spoke today with Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker. Exactly four weeks to the day after an Amish buggy crash killed two children and injured their sister, the children's parents are grateful that their daughter Hannah is back from the hospital and for the support that they're getting from the community. Nine-year-old Hannah Miller spent part of today putting together puzzles with her little brother, her only surviving sibling. The neck brace is the only outward reminder of what she's been through. It's hard to, to go on without the rest, and yet we feel God has helped us and has, he knew we needed Hannah. Three of Eli and Fanny Miller's children were riding in an open air cart headed to school on March 20th near Manton when their pony apparently bolted into the path of a car. The crash killed their 11 year old daughter Rachel who was driving the rig and seven year old son Samuel. It critically injured Hannah. She flew, I'm not sure how far, on the pavement and mm. the angels were protecting us. Hannah spent two weeks at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital in Grand Rapids, 110 miles away, while her parents stayed at the hospital's Renucci Hospitality House. She had uh, blood on the brain, uh, concussion, head, um, fractured skull. She had a fractured pelvic, a fractured arm, a broken leg. And there she sits? There she sits. Wow. She's doing amazing. And she, wow. Their parents spoke to News 8, but for religious reasons, asked that we'd not show their faces. They live a simple life on a farm, without electricity, without automobiles. Our local community drivers were, came and they were wanting to take us wherever we need to go, and we have not paid a, any money for trips down there. Salvation Army um, took us down there a couple times. The support continued through the funeral and burial, and it hasn't stopped. These are cars and letters and palms. There. From those in the Amish community and from those outside. Within days of the crash, Chico's Taco House and Cadillac set up a food truck in Manton, with half the proceeds going to the family. When this strategy came up, you know, we just, you know, my wife and I both talked to him and said, you know, we, we got to do something, you know. They raised $1,100. It's overwhelming to, to we got first the day of the funeral a local man that was a first responder there at the scene came with a bag of envelopes with money from that was collected from the locals hundreds thousands actually thousands that was probably thousands of dollars people that we had no idea who were the community has is a lot larger than i ever imagined because of the the people outside of the Amish pitching in and helping in in a lot of different ways. While they don't have insurance, the Michigan Amish Medical Board will help with hospital bills not covered by donations. Amish churches will also help. We will yeah. get the help that we need. It will get paid. It will get paid? The hospital bills will get paid. In the meantime, Hannah continues to recover at home with their four-year-old brother Elijah. Played a lot and cling together yeah. since their yeah. brother and sister. Anyone who wants to give can give through Manton Metal Company where the father works. In Manton, Ken Colker, News 8.